What's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. Today I'll be showing off my Marvel Legends Credible Hulk action figure collection. And I'm sorry for the late update. I haven't been posting a lot of videos except for shorts. There's a reason to that. One of the reasons why is that I've been working so much. I've been doing a lot of overtime. I've been buying figures before I go to work. And I've just been coming home and resting after that. Adulting sucks. I hope you all know that. Also, another reason why I haven't been uploading is that I've been told in probably another month or so, I will be moving to a new house. So, I want to get these guys all boxed up and ready for when I move so I can safely move them to my new home. I'm trying to do a few more stop motions before I move. It's just taking time. I have another like two stop motion fills I want to get done before I move. In which I will put them in the description below on what they are. So, without further ado, let's get into it. On the first shelf, we have the Outback, the, the Grey Hulk Outback Hulk from the Marvel Legends Gameverse Wave, which is probably the only Gameverse Hulk we actually have, which I wish they made more Hulks for that wave, which that would have been cool. I wouldn't care what body mold they were. I wish it was kind of this body mold instead of that one. I'm not a big fan of that body mold. It's just, it doesn't have like the the muscle touch to it. So it that that, that body mold does, does not work out for me. But he's a cool Grey Hulk. I give him that. And there's a part two of the Grey Hulk versus Abomination will be coming up here soon. Which I will be making the part two where he comes back. But I'm not going to spoil it that much to you. I'm, I'm just going to tell you that there's going to be a part two. On to the next Hulk, we have the Joe Fixit Grey Hulk. I'm not a fan of this Builder Figure Hulk. He took me a while to finish, and plus, he does not stand very well on one of his feet. So, yeah, and the gray on him it does not work for me. We have the new edition Grey Hulk over here with the two back of Bruce Banner, which is my only Bruce Banner I have. I plan to get the one from Age of Ultron in the Infinity Saga one, which I'm very excited for. This is one of my new edition Hulks, the 20th, the 80th anniversary Hulk. I don't have the other Hulk version of this guy, the darker green one. I don't have that one yet. I wish I did, but I don't have them. So, but I'm glad I have this in my collection. I've been seeing a lot of people use this, and I saw a famous YouTuber use this for his Hulk versus Superman video, which it is badass, man. You did a good job. Next Hulk we have is. The Planet Hulk, which I do have a shield, it's just put away for when I move. So he, I'll be taking off his accessories here soon. So there's the Planet Hulk, which this is one of my favorite Hulks. Other than this one, he's one of my favorites. I have only like a few favorite Hulks. We also have the Marvel Legends Bruce Banner, which I mentioned like a few seconds ago. Cool. Has a similar body, body mode with some other figures, even some MCU figures. But overall... I'm glad we got a comic book at... Oh. God oh. Oh. There, there. Stay. There we go. Sorry about that. He's the only Bruce Banner, comic book Bruce Banner we actually have. We don't have any others. Except for the older version. But that's not a Marvel legend. Over here we have the gray... I think the gray She-Hulk? I'm not sure about this one. I forgot its name. But I remember it's from the Fantastic Four Super Scroll Wave. This Hulk... I don't have the other version of this Hulk She-Hulk figure. And I don't have the red She-Hulk. Which I hope Marvel at Hasbro makes another one. Which that will be great. Make a new edition She-Hulk. with The red version She-Hulk. And maybe a Betty Ross. And a Jennifer Walters She-Hulk. Or just Jennifer Walters. I have the MCU She-Hulk. She's packed away in my totes for a while with all the other boxed up figures I have because I've been buying some action figures that I have not opened yet until I move. Just only a few. On to the next shelf, we have my Incredible Hulk villain shelf, which is not there's not that much. I have two build figure Abominations, which... We need a new abomination, if I'm being honest. We need an accurate abomination with 
separate hands. We give him fist hands. I don't ever remember him using clawed hands in a fight. I never seen like scratch the Hulk with his claws. Maybe he done that in the comics, but overall, I'm not a big fan of the open hands for him. I want him to have fisted hands. There is a mini version of Abomination where he has fisted hands, but that's the only one we actually get Abomination with fisted hands, except for the older Marvel Legends has uh, Hulk Abomination. But yeah, we also have the Red Hulk, which is one of my favorite Red Hulks all the time. Used to own the older Builder figure Red Hulk, but don't have him anymore. I plan to also get a custom head for him, which I found on eBay, which I have not ordered yet. To where his mouth is closed. If you all seen that custom head. And uh, other than that, the only other villain we have on this shelf is the leader. Which, not my best body mode I like for him, but I do like the way he looks. I like his head. And I hope we see him in a future movie sometime here soon. Which, I've been hearing that the Hulk may get get his movies back that he has not had. We might have a Planet Hulk here soon. And a Hulk, the Incredible Hulk 2, that has been cancelled from 2008. Okay, on to the next shelf. This isn't a Hulk shelf, but these are some of the villains Hulk has fought. Like, the Diamond Slug Juggernaut, which is the only Juggernaut I have. But we all have seen Hulk fight the Juggernaut in the comics. Hopefully we see that in a live-action movie. We've seen the Hulk fight Thanos, which I'm bummed out he lost. Hulk has fought the Yeti in the comic. And just to let you guys know, I'm selling this figure. If you all want to go on my Macari, I will post the link down in my description below uh for for him and under that we have the kree century which i saw him fight it in the game and i saw him fight it in the cartoon of earth's mightiest hero now to the last shelf is just the mcu incredible hulk we have the diamond select hulk back there which took me a while to find he is not cheap let me tell you that he is not cheap i don't have the other version of him where he had where he has a lighter color and the, the avengers shorts which I cannot find that one, but I have this one instead, the first version, which I like a lot. I plan to use him in a video here soon. But until then, I have him. I have Professor Hulk build a figure. Love, love that Hulk. Not bad Hulk. We have the Avengers 2012 Marvel Legends Hulk. We have the Age of Ultron Marvel Legends Hulk. Don't have the other version of him. Not a big fan of his body mold. I see a lot of people use this in stop motion. But I'm not a big fan of his body mold. He is loose on his legs. His legs are terrible. If you all have the same issue with my with me, please tell me in the comments below. Overall, he's not a bad Hulk. He has a similar head to the Diamond Select one, just not as angry as that one. We have the Marvel Legends Thanos, which Hulk fought in, which we seen Hulk fought in the movie. Bummed out he didn't get come back to fight him. And last but not least, the Marvel Legends, Infinity Saga, Hulk. Which I actually, this is my only Gladiator Hulk that I have in my collection. So, I don't have the older version. But th the difference between the older version is that these do not bend. These weapons do not bend. Which I'm glad that, I, that they fixed that for this Marvel Legend. I don't know why back then that they made it to where their wep where his weapons would bend at a certain time if you if he hold them up. Which was terrible. And another gripe about this figure that I did not say in the video when I posted a review. Is that they gave him the same weapon from the previous from the previous wave that he was in. They gave him the same weapon which I don't remember him having that in the movie. From what I recall he had a double side axe. Which I would actually love to have it. But I think it was a safety hazard or something. Or there was another reason why they didn't add it. And... The other gripe I had about this figure was that he did not have had another fisted hand for his other hand, which, bum, come on, Hasbro, do better job with your MCU Hulks. They could, I hope they give him a new body mold here soon, which I would love the Infinity Saga to make a, a new Hulk. The 2008 Hulk, or the 2012 Hulk, or the freaking Infinity War Hulk body mold, where he didn't have all of his armor or anything, everything. I would love the Hulk. That is not the body mold for the Infinity War Hulk. But other than that, that's the incredible my Incredible Hulk action figure collection. Oh, and before we leave, we 
have some honorable mentions. My all-time favorite Hulk action figure is the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Hulk. All-time favorite Hulk. And we have the Hulk Buster, which I love this thing. Hopefully we get the new one that they have in Infinity War. Out of that, that's my Incredible Hulk action figure collection. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.